in a sense, they were, as, as Hal Roach himself has often said, they were like children. Both of the characters were very, very childlike, which was part of their appeal. But I think also they were, both characters, or the, who, although they were very different, were both, in a sense, inferior to the audience. Um, Laurel was, on the whole, much more stupid in his characterization than the average person in the audience would be, so the audience could feel superior to him. Uh, Hardy, on the, on the other hand, was much more superficially superior. He was very pompous, and uh, he would be deflated. So audiences, again, could feel superior to that character, and it's rather unique to have two um, comedians so vastly diverse in style yet at the same time being sort of uniformly inferior to the audience that was watching them. It was, I don't think any other comedians ever managed that. When you got Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis together, um, one of them was always, in a sense, inferior to the audience. He was the smart aleck. The same thing with Abbott and Costello, but Abbott was always the smart aleck who was smarter than the audience. And I think Laurel and Hardy were quite unique in that aspect.